how's it going? Today, um, I wanted to do just a quick vlog about a couple of the products of All Natural, of course, that I've been using this past month. So most of April and some of them I just really got into the last few um, couple of days in May that I'm really liking. They're working wonders for me and I just wanted to share with you guys. So first off is my Benicos Natural Powder Blush and it's in Sassy Salmon. So it's just like a nice coral color. I'm sorry for the lighting guys. I have so much light that you can't really see everything. And that's actually what I'm wearing right now. What I love about this blush, it's just like a smooth, silky application and it literally just brightens up your face without adding too much color. I got it in my um, True Beauty box last month and I literally was like, oh, the, the next day I put it on and I'm like, oh my god, this is really nice. Like it's one of, you know, you're supposed to smile when you're putting blush on. This actually like, you keep smiling because it's just so pretty and I, I actually feel like it's one of those um, things that would probably work on every skin tone. So yes, Sassy Sam Salmon from Benicol's is absolutely, it's probably one of those products where I like love at first use and I'll probably, probably be in my um, bag for quite some time since I've been using it every day since the day I got it. Um, next on the list is my Waxeline. So um, this is pretty much just an all-natural version of Vaseline's um, soy oil, beeswax, vitamin E, and rosemary oil. So it's even something like a little better than um, your standard Vaseline because it does have like the rosemary and just nice. Um, I wasn't sure what to use it for at first because I did like have my Vaseline for a long time and that's kind of like one of the products I have it switched out for whatever reason because I'm like oh it's cheap it works and usually like you know a little tip of Vaseline will last you forever so what I ended up doing was um one of my favorite things to do with Vaseline was like at night I would put whatever um lip balm on and just slather uh, my lips with Vaseline because my lips do get very dry especially in the winter but still even when it's warmer um so I'll just like put it on and then just wipe it off and have like very soft lips um, in the morning. So this is what I've been mostly using this for. I also use it as a lip balm since I've been losing all of my lip balms, even all the new ones I've bought. So use it for that and of course for like my elbows and my feet which tend to be a little drier. So I'm really liking this product. It is very moisturizing. It has less of a greasy feel. And Vaseline, you always feel like you're just coating. Like this, I feel you can feel it absorbing into your skin. So if you're looking for a healthier alternative for Vaseline, I would say definitely try the Waxeline. It's basically the same thing. It's just, again, without the, petrol, um, without the petrochemicals or the petroleum, if you choose. Um, what else? Oh. Um, Mary Veronique Body Oil. Mary Veronique Organics, which I actually got this... A um, few months back, maybe four or five months back, um, in as part of my birch box, and it was one of those things that like, I'm like, I knew it was all natural. I knew I was keep, I would keep it. It has great essential oils in it, but I never was just like, oh, what to use it for, whatever. And of course, I've used it sparingly. It's a little bottle and whatever. I remember the first time I used it actually was when I was in Haiti, and I thought because it had the lavender oil in there. I would use it at night because I don't I didn't want to sleep with like bug spray on so I would use it at night definitely helped because when I was there I only got a couple of bug bites but my latest use for this magical oil is for to alleviate soreness um, I've been like going super hard because I had like a so-so April or you know like Mar I feel like March and April were kind of okay as far as my workouts but I really want to step it up get ready for bikini season and I've been doing the last two weeks mainly two a days and last week it caught up to me and I'm telling you like I have like I'm not a big on upper body so I was so sore it literally felt like there were little aliens invading my shoulders and it was on fire so I'm sitting there brainstorming like what can I do to feel better and I just was like you know what essential oils always work for me and this little guy the body oil actually has um, lavender, star jasmine, vertifer, I can't remember what 
else but there's one oh grapefruit so it was just a very pleasant smelling oil and what i've started doing is especially on days where i literally feel like my shoulders be on fire it could be any body part for you but for me because again of my terribly weak upper body no matter how hard i try i just like was like literally burning so what i would do is just take a couple of drops and just like rub my shoulders before going to bed and i'm telling you this made me feel so much better. I woke when I woke up. I didn't have that kind of like burning sensation. I don't know if just kind of like releasing the tension and everything. And no, I was I didn't have anybody do it for me. I'm sure if you had somebody do it for you, then it'd probably be even better. But it's just, just the power of essential oils and just really relaxing the body and providing like that soothing experience. I love this stuff, and I'm um it's quite pricey for the full bottle. I think it's sixty. $64 I want to say but it's one of those things even this little bottle has lasted me months so I think it's gonna be worth it I'll probably have the bottle for a year but if you're kind of like you know if you get sore in um, your muscles and you're looking for just like an easy way to kind of soothe the pain I absolutely I, I love this oil so it's really good stuff next is um, the next two actually I found at the Green Festival, which is, um, I went to at the last week of April, I believe, in New York City, and it was just so amazing to see just all these companies promoting just eco-friendly, environment, you know, environmentally friendly products for, you know, whether it was food or bath or body products, just great things that you would probably never think about. So, um... This one, I've had a hard time, like, finding, like, a really good, like, body wash that I can stick to. So, I usually do soaps, but I like body washes. So, I found this little guy. It's um, a small company based out of Vermont, and it's called per per The Pursuit of Cleanliness. And I got two fragrances, but the one I've been using is Lemongrass Lane. And I'm telling you, this is so great, especially in the morning. It's just that lemongrass smell like I will you know give anything to have that every morning because it's just like literally wakes you up and you're just like oh my god the other one I have is orange I like it but this lemongrass is just like when you need to like jump in the shower and feel good and get your day going and you're just like dragging this is kind of like the perfect pick me up with the scent so um I'll tell you the ingredients very simple nothing funky um no synthetic fragrances, so it's um, so purified organic coconut, and coconut, olive, and jojoba oils, natural lemongrass essential oil, um, organic aloe, and organic rosemary extract. That's it. Smells good, gets you clean, and has like this cute little design with the duck and the bubbles. So, love it. Um, last but certainly not least is my favorite find from the Green Festival, and they're called Easy wipe with a w y p and bought them for five bucks i have a big bag of them but this is a container that comes with the bag for five dollars and basically what it is it's a biodegradable wipe they're this little um circular disc and let me close this and you have and all you need is some water to cup to um to get it to kind of like expand and you need one ounce of water. So what I'll do is literally turn this upside down. One, two, up, oh, I'll do one more, three. And before your eyes, it's unfolding. How cool is that? And I'm a dork, but this was like, this got me. I'm like, this is amazing when you need to, like I just carried it on my purse. Cause when you need to wipe your hands, um, wipe your face especially summertime when you're if you're like me walking around new york city it's just so dirty you just want to wipe your face after a workout i use this um after my boot camp workout this past weekend because i was just like exhausted and i noticed it's gross but i didn't have time i had an event to go to and i didn't have time to like go home shower and whatever so i'm just like you know what use a couple of these wipe myself all the way down 
I can worry about showering later. I mean, they're just very useful and fun. They're biodegradable. What I put in my, and you can put whatever you want in the water thing. So what I put in mine is tea tree oil. So just some water, tea tree oil. I think I might have put a drop of lavender. Tea tree oil is great for, it's antimicrobial, disinfects. So a lot of times we overuse the antibacterial soaps or not even soaps, the little gels that um, like the Purell, that type of stuff. And I feel like this is kind of like a great alternative. Of course, if you have kids, this is a great way. They're always getting into stuff. Great way to wipe them down easily and be done with it. It's easy, simple. Love it, love it, love it. So I hope you guys found those useful. Say hi to Preshi. <laughs> she seems to somehow get in every video that I do. Anyways, hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day and wishing you guys a great week. And I will talk to you soon. Make sure you check the blog. It's sparklespice.com.